just tell us, please, Laura, a little <laughs> bit about what you do in Arizona and why Arizona is the state to come and visit on a American adventure. Well, I own Wild Bunch Desert Guides, which is a, a boutique mountain biking and hiking adventure company. And we do a lot of mountain biking and hiking adventure tours in the Scottsdale, Phoenix area. We're really local here to this part of the state. But Arizona right now is just beautiful. All areas of Arizona from the Grand Canyon to Sedona to Tombstone to Bisbee to Yuma. Everywhere here is just the weather is fantastic. And there's so many things that you can come and do. I mean, the Sonoran Desert is somewhere where you can really get out there and explore whether you choose to go guided or not. It's 75 degrees right now, my friend. It's it's amazing here. But in the afternoons, we're getting a little warmer. We're hanging out in the, the upper to uh, lower 90s uh, currently. But, um, you know, in the mornings right now, it's fantastic. And then around sunset time, around 6.30 p.m., the temperatures drop again and make it really nice to sit outside and enjoy dinner or drinks or, you know, a hike, a little bit of a sunset hike or a sunset mountain bike tour, anything like that right now is just fantastic here in Arizona. Tell us a little bit about the logistics, getting to you and getting on one of your adventures. So you could, you could always call me direct, uh, the numbers on our website or book online. Uh, we do online booking at wildbunchdesertguides.com. But what that looks like is Lots of our hikes take place in the Phoenix Mountain Preserve area. There's a couple different trailheads that we utilize there. But what we try to do uh, and what we're known for is our efficiency and getting guests out on tours that are close to where they're staying. Because lots of times what happens is people come in and they book things back, 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 back. And they have a big, busy, busy day. They're trying to do us and then maybe an ATV or you know something like that. So... Lots of our mountain biking takes place in the North Scottsdale area in the McDowell Sonoran Preserve. 280 miles plus of beautiful single track, well groomed, beautifully maintained by the stewards of the McDowell Conservancy. And it's just, I mean, breathtaking, beautiful views. So we try to pick the best hikes and mountain bike tours to coincide with the level of the, the guests that comes in. What we're really known for is we take a lot of kids and families. That's our main niche here in uh, Scottsdale amongst our other adventure company buddies. Is we do a lot of things with families and take a lot of kids on mountain bikes, which I'm very, very proud of. And I take it it's if you've got if you are a family with young kids, it's it's you you, you can you, you obviously supply the the cycles and all of the kit and all of that. Yes, correct. So we provide the mountain bikes, we provide backpacks for people to borrow, we provide the helmets, everything has been sanitized, uh, clean, of course, between guests, we provide uh, bike water bottles for people, we have snacks, and our snacks, of course, can cover if you're gluten free or a celiac, or if you have a food allergy, we have snacks that are dairy free, soy free, gluten free, made by scratch labs out of Boulder, Colorado. So we pretty much just have to show up with some closed-toed shoes, some really uh, loose-fitting athletic apparel, hat and sunglasses, sunscreen for sure. Don't forget that. We do have that too, but, and, and we're ready to take you out. You just have to show up ready to have an adventure here. I've driven through the, you know, through that part of, of, of the U.S. Um, when I, you know, from Las Vegas to, uh, to LA and, and it was bloody hot. I mean, <laughs> really super super duper hot if you're going out to, to Arizona in August is it I mean what's in terms of being outside in that heat is it just a case of get on with it or well so my company and most adventure companies here we, we do things early in the morning uh so for us we would do a 7 a.m or a earlier start time and that's all we don't allow anything much after 9 a.m due to that exact situation it feels like i tell people when they call for summer i go you know if you're going to come out here here's what you need to do go stand in your bathroom turn your hair dryer on high and let it slap you in the face for about 15 minutes because that's what it's going to feel like when you get off that plane 
here in the Phoenix area in the summertime. So lots of tour companies, of course, we do things earlier in the morning and that's when, you know, van tours like Detours American West or, you know, tours where you can get in the air conditioning van to go see the Grand Canyon. That's when those are real popular for people. But we still do hikes and bikes, but you got to be able to get up early in the morning and, and make sure your hydration is uh, you're starting at night on the water so you can come into it hydrated. And do you do sort of multi-day excursions and, uh, you know, what's the accommodation like? Where are people staying? So we only do um, day tours, uh, half day tours um, here in the Phoenix Scottsdale area. So we do not do any multi-day excursions. We we will refer those out to companies like 360 Adventures or uh, Duck Out Adventures. Some of the people that we're really good friends with and hold a really good friendship, um, That that's what their specialty is. So we're not afraid to... Uh, push those out onto other companies. We're just a half day, full day, local Scottsdale Phoenix uh, adventure company. So perfect. Yeah. For the, I, keep, I keep getting a funny, uh, funny noise there. Really great then for sort of fam, my grassroots cyclists, families that want to come out and just have a taste of, of a bit of an adventure in the desert then. Correct. So we, we can put you out there and you can really be really close to a Saguaro cactus, which of course is iconic here, the big, you know, green cactus that you see with all the arms that have their own little personality. You get people really up close to those for some amazing photos. You get to see some desert wildlife, like right now it's rattlesnake season here, and it never fails. The people that don't want to see them, they come slithering across that trail, and the people that want to see them, it doesn't happen. So I always tell guests, hey, I try to email all the snakes and it's up to them to come out, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really great. It's right now. It's so beautiful here. Wildlife is kind of hanging out. A lot of our wildlife is nocturnal or crepuscular, which means they come out at dawn and dusk. So Sunset Mountain Bike Tours have proven to get a couple Gila monsters out on the trail, and we've seen some rattlesnakes recently. So it's been it's been really good. Tell me a little bit about Scottsdale art. If you're into food, if you're into wine, if you're into the desert if you're into being outdoors if you're you know there's there's a little bit of everything for everyone and our resorts here are just amazing beyond the Phoenician I mean you have the Four Seasons which is beautiful and way up in North Scottsdale kind of in the middle of nowhere but it's it's perfect if you want to get away and just enjoy the, the serene beauty and quietness and then you have places like the Phoenician where I am where it's close to everything so Scottsdale in general is just a really beautiful area to explore no matter what you want to do, whether it's... Where do you go to eat? What's your favorite? I've got, I've got one minute. I've got two questions. Where do you head to to eat the best food? And um, if, like a lot of our members, um, somebody wants um, some accommodation that might not necessarily be the Four Seasons, but might be a bit more quirky or a bit more authentic, where do you recommend? Oh, I would definitely say the Hotel Valley Ho, downtown Old Town Scottsdale would be my go-to on that. And I am a sushi fan. So oh. I love sushi. So I love, so I love sushi holic, but Barrio Queen is probably one of the best for the Southwest Mexican style oh. of food. Yeah. And obviously, you've got the Grand Canyon, and uh, and is it the Horseshoe Bend you've got in Arizona? Correct. That's Northern Arizona um, by Page. So you'd have to make a trip to Antelope Canyon, of course, and then you always got to stop at the Horseshoe Bend and get that that selfie right there on the on the bend. It's Pretty popular posted selfies. So, yep, that's Northern Arizona. <laughs> Just remind us, Laurel, what's the name of your uh, your company again? Tell everybody. So you can follow us on Instagram at wildbunchdesertguides.com. Wild Bunch Desert Guides. If you are thinking of Arizona for your <laughs> holiday of a lifetime to the US of A, contact Laurel. We'll put our details up in the club and get on one of those bike tours. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. What a great way to see an amazing part of the US. 